Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at for Windows Insiders and Fastring. This is 17760 and has the potential of being the final release that goes out to general Windows users. Microsoft isn't saying it is. It has the potential. Um, we can probably get a couple more builds, I suspect, but uh, certainly things are getting close. There are no known issues with this build um, as of the moment, so um, Insiders may find issues, but there's no known issues on this build and... Uh, I've found this build to be pretty good so far. I've seen no issues with no known issues with it. So everything is looking good on there. There's a number of fixes and sorry, I can't show you loads of new features because there aren't any, like I said, as Microsoft gets to finish off. But there are a number of fixes. Um they've fi fixed an issue causing that cause that uh, dot net apps using four point seven one would not correct work correctly. They've fixed an issue rendering PDFs, they've fixed an issue um would crash when you're using Microsoft Edge and, and swipe navigation. That's where you can, that's where you can use a touch screen and swipe back. Um, they fixed an issue with uh, crashing when you press F12 on certain web pages where extensions were enabled. They fixed an issue with uh, icons on Microsoft Edge error pages on localized builds. They fixed an issue with Windows Security App that would show that the UI was showing too that was a large number of threats had been found when it hadn't actually been the case. So it's good to know they fixed that. Uh, this this build does have uh, your phone in there, which is now being renamed your phone companion on the uh, Android side. It was called uh, Microsoft Apps app, which was a bit clunky naming. Now it's going to be called your phone companion, which makes more sense. Um, but that's it. That's it. There's no new features. There's just getting down to the edge of uh, re release. They're just getting ready for release, and uh, this could be the build that goes out. I'm going to do a separate video with all the new features sort of aggregated together. I've recorded these videos back right from the very first preview, so I'll do one just showing Redstone 5 changes. Uh, you'll find that on our YouTube channel. Hit subscribe if you want to get notified when we do new videos. You can go on our uh, Twitter at ixdixon, and I'll see you on the digitallifestyle.com.